Yo, 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 yaga, yo. What are you man saying? I hope you lot are having a great morning, evening, afternoon, depending on where you're at, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, it's just interesting. I'm just starting this thing, which I'm going to call it Jay, on his Jay's Sundays. You know, Jay, Jay on his Jay's Saturdays on my freestyles, etc., etc. But I'm going to do start this thing called Jay on his Jay's Sundays. Um, just going to get more insight. I'm going to have... Um, different messages for you um on sundays of course um and possibly anywhere else through the week it's all dependent but yeah um it's interesting because i always want to talk about something that i've actually personally experienced or i've walked through in recent time or anything i'm going through like right now you know what i'm saying and there's one thing that i think is important i think normally um we don't talk about but normally i think it's important that we talk about Especially when you're walking in, like, calling. A lot of times, one thing you, you <laughs> kind of ignorant to is you thought it was going to be easy. Especially when you start, like, example, younger. Normally, you don't know how much it's actually going to take to actually do what you've been called to do until you start walking through it and start realising, rah, like, it takes more... It takes me getting to the end of me and then going into the power of the Holy Spirit moving through me that actually makes it work. A lot of the times you didn't know that there was going to be so many hurdles or how, how long the hurdles you may endure, or how long it, sorry, my bad, how long it may take for you to um, get past the hurdles and how long you have to endure the actual hurdles. I didn't, you don't know that normally. I didn't know that. I'm still walking through the storm, of course, um, doing what I'm doing, walking through, doing music. Um, yeah, and also talking is amazing as well. But yeah, it's 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 a it's it's stormy, it's a wilderness, but you will get through. A lot of times, it's, it's more keeping a focus on what you're what you're getting taught in that um situation or in that space or in that circumstance. Um, that's more profound than anything. A lot of times, it's um people. A lot of times, you put more focus on the end goal or the little bit that you know because you don't know everything because God's ways are not our ways. And his thoughts are not thoughts, so you don't know everything. But a little bit of vision that he's giving you for it. A lot of times you've got to learn how to walk with it. But sometimes it's so funny because I normally, when I'm praying, I talk to um, God. And I'm, I'm normally saying that one thing that's difficult sometimes is the weight of vision. Because a lot of times you can't get away from that vision that's, that's been given to you in your head. No matter what you're going through, you're always thinking about always thinking about thinking about it, knowing that, oh man, I've got to do that. And sometimes when you're going through some of the pains, you know you can't let, you can't let the um, vision go. You're holding on to it, so it's like it's like a backpack that you're holding on to, or a rucksack that you're holding on to. That no matter what people who pew and what and what situations are tugging on it, you're going now. Nah, I'm not letting go of this back of this backpack of vision. You see, where I'm coming from, or this rucksack of vision. So a lot of times it's, it it comes with a challenge, but I think one thing that's very important that I've learned, even though it's not easy, you don't fully understand everything about it. It's who you're looking upon and who you're looking to, and what you're learning from it. And who you're trusting in the circumstance. If you're trusting the circumstance, you're already going to be in trouble. If you are um, the basing your um, peace and joy on, oh, well, if I get there, if I get here, if I do this, or if I do that, you're already in trouble because at the end of the day, you have today the present to live. You're not going to have, you don't know if you're going to have a tomorrow. You're not sure if this is going to be that or that is going to be that. You're promised that the, that you have hope for the future and the plan for you is for um, hope and for you to have um, a future, not for not for evil, of course. But one thing that's very important that I've started to learn and I understand is that you have to keep the focus on what you're called to do in the present time, who you're called to serve in the present time, who you're called to give to in the present time, who, how you're called to bring a um, gift and to serve in the present time, whether it's family, whether it's people that you don't know, that you may just be led to go and um, give or be led to... Um, do this or do that or serve here or serve there is more important than anything. A lot of times people put their focus on the end goal or on the vision that they've been given so much that they don't see the vision that they've been given for today. So the short-term visions, that's all a part of the long-term vision. That's something that I've learned. And yeah, I just thought I wanted to share that with you, innit? Bow. Let's go.